welcome back. Our next lesson is do not confuse your audience. Now this can come in many ways, shapes, forms, and fashions. For me, it really had a lot to do with choosing busy backgrounds just because I liked the look of them. So what's wrong with doing things this way? First of all, this image doesn't really have anything to do with revising and editing. And in order to blend the two elements on the slide, I've had to disregard my signal to noise ratio. Instead, what I need to focus on is using high signal and low noise. Eliminate that busy background, focus on the message at hand, connect it to that background and you've got something that is crystal clear. The next rule is do not use text alone to convey ideas. Now we've covered using text purposely. Let's go back to that bulleted list. In this case, I'm using only text, not even that small bit of clip art or other associated image, text only to convey ideas that I could convey using images. Instead, what I need to do is apply that picture superiority effect. The picture superiority effect is a universal principle of design that states when you pair an image with an impacting bit of text, retention goes through the roof. Think about a phone book. Are you more likely to choose the ad that's text only or pick out the ad that pairs that bit of text with an impacting image? That's what stands out in a sea of text only ads. So always ask yourself, what information are you representing with the written word that you can replace with an image? Check out chapter 11 of Duarte's text, as well as Gar Reynolds' discussion of the picture superiority effect for more information. Here's how I chose to do that with the previous slide. Remember that just contained bullet points. I took each of my main ideas and replaced them with an image. This is the final revision to that previous slide. This approach is much simpler, but it definitely puts the focus on the presenter, which creates different challenges. But remember, you are the focal point of a presentation. You should be the main conveyor of information. This is a presentation by one of my students in my live class. In this presentation, the student wants to persuade his audience that they should ride a bicycle instead of driving to class every day. Notice how he applies the picture superiority effect and how he integrates subtle bits of text into the slides themselves. When this student presented, he allowed himself to be the conveyor of information. His slide served as a great enhancement to that conveyor of information. Think about how much this picture says. How about this one? All in all, the focus is on the presenter. The visuals are a supplement. Note to always show attribution. We'll discuss that a little bit later on in the next series.